over there. Come on, Avengers! Hey, what's up you guys? Shardimus Prime here doing another Walking Dead building set review on the McFarlane Toys AMC's The Walking Dead Prison Catwalk along with the upper prison cell and the lower prison cell. If you're trying to pick these up, you can for your big, 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 get your big badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. Big thanks to McFarlane Toys for making this review possible. If you want to see the latest from McFarlane Toys, check the link below. Now these three are sold separately. Actually at Big Bad Toy Store, these are included as one purchase, uh, but I saw on Walmart.com these two pieces are sold separately. And of course, this is its own separate piece. Uh, with 368 pieces, you can build a prison catwalk and you can combine these to make a larger prison. So I think that is really cool. Then on the back right over here, you can see the catwalk. Again, it shows how you could add the other sets right there. Then on the upper and lower cells, we can turn these around and you can see how they attach the same way. And then this one comes to the right gear zombie. Then this one comes with Carol. All right, let's get to it and crack these things open and get these things built. So here's the upper and lower cell along with the prison catwalk right over here and this is looking really cool. I really love that you have the option to display these together. Now these are not fully connected right over here. You can buy them separately, you can buy them together. Uh, I'm keeping them a little detached over here so I can mess around with it and show you some of the display options which I think is great. Uh, you get all kinds of great painted detail throughout on these guys and plus you do get your little figurines that come with each of them. So looking at the upper prison cell over here it looks very cool and all these cells look more or less the same. There are variations to them which I'll go over in a little bit uh, but each of these come with their own figure. You get one of two figures that come with the upper prison cell. It's either going to be a Carol or it'll be a prisoner walker. I'm happy I got the Carol. Did you guys see last night's episode of The Walking Dead? Oh my goodness. Uh, season 6 episode 2. Wow. Carol was amazing. I want to see a meme of Rick Grimes saying, we have a Carol, you know, like Tony Stark, we have a Hulk. But anyway, this is painted very well. I like all the details right here. She's got a little stabby weapon right there. She's got her gun. And the face, man, that the sculpt on this little figure really has a likeness. And there's not much paint right there on the... Well, no, they even have some dirt on her face too, which is really cool. But I think they did a really good job on this. And you do get some articulation on these. You can move them side to side and move the arms up and down and move the waist a little bit. And, moves, and you can move the head side to side too. Sometimes it could be tricky balancing these even though they have this little plastic support. But, you know, for the most part, they do work pretty well. So many toilets. I'm glad that there's so many toilets that come with this set. But it's a really good looking toilet. Really, really nasty. I uh, just ruined the table and the bed, which I'll show off more in a second. But I think that is great. Ooh, gross. Oh, so nasty. Rust and stuff. Is that Dookie? Is that leftover prisoner shark? I don't know. But yeah, you can see the sink right over there. Uh, someone took a Dookie in the sink. Ooh, that's really, really nasty. Someone took a Dookie all over the pipes. Ooh, it's even worse. But yeah, you can see that there's some accessories in here too. But before I add those back in there, you can see the floor looks really good inside here. A lot of nice painted detail. And along with the walls and everything, you can see a lot of color variation over there. That's what I really love about these things, that these are collectible pieces. They're painted very, very well, even though that they're building sets. So that's just an awesome combination right there. Looking at the door right there, it looks really good with this wash going over the yellow. I like that. And you get this little graded section right there. And it looks like a little gate. It looks like the floor is supposed to be made out of metal right there. I think that looks really dope too. I'm digging that a lot. Then you get these ports that stick out over here so you can connect it to other prison cells. And on the back you can see where it has the ports where it can get plugged into. So I think that's really cool that you could do that. Now I really like how the bed came out for this. And look at this mattress. This looks really dope. Look at all that detail right there. Some very nice black paint mixed in. Looking really good. I like that. Same thing with the top part right there. Some nice wrinkles sculpted in there. And you can just put this into the frame of the bed like that. And that works really cool. So that's nice. Then you get display options as far as the blankie. You can put this blankie on here, you can put that blankie on there, and you get the same display options for all of them, and a lot of nice details on the blankets. I like how this one has some blood stains. Ooh, yeah, really digging that a lot, so that's cool. And then you get a pillow. Yeah, look at that, nice little pillow. You gotta sleep comfortably during your zombie apocalypse. If you want to say, uh, you know, sleeping in a prison cell is comfortable, which actually, relatively, is actually very comfortable. And then you also get a table over here. God, what a tangent, right? But look at that. Detail looks really good as far as the wood goes. That's awesome. And yeah, my fingers look all weird and stuff. That's just from a lot of drum playing. So yeah, my hands get calloused and everything. But anyway, yeah, nice looking table. Nice gun, nice knife. And you can just put everything right in here. Looks pretty good, you know, just pull that up in there. You can set it up any way you like to. You just lay the pillow on top like that if you want. 
put the table right over here. You know, there's not any specific parts where it's supposed to plug into, but I like that about these. You can get creative with them and set them up your own way. And I really like how this door functions over here too. So that's awesome that we get the opening and closing doors. Now you're just looking at the lower prison cell. Now this one has two figure options that come with it as well. You either get a Riot Gear Zombie or you get a Carl Grimes. I believe that's a hatless Carl Grimes. But look in this prison cell. This looks pretty cool as well. Uh, not too many differences. You get the same type of door over here and we can close that like like so, so that looks pretty good. You get the similar kind of grate right over here at the bottom. I really like the paint apps on that. Nice color variation. You can get some blood. I love how they put blood on these pieces too. You'll see on the steps of the catwalk later on, they added some blood there, which I really like. But looking at the Riot Gear Zombie right over here, a little bit closer, that looks really, really dope. I love the attention to detail to these tiny little figures. I just can't understand how they do this. This is just badass. I love that red paint just splashed all over right there. Nice etched out detail and color variation throughout on this little guy. You can see his bones sticking out like there. Kind of want to see what he looks like, but you know, it's going to be a zombie. So yeah, but very, very cool little piece. And you could add other walkers to this playset too. Uh, here's another Riot Gear zombie looking really nice. And these came with the Daryl and Merrill uh, five pack set that McFarlane Toys actually sent as well. <laughs> Now we do get the same toilet that we've gotten before. Again, Dookie all over the place. I'm just gonna call that Dookie. I just like thinking of that as Dookie. And then the mattress looks really good over here too. So same pillow and mattress parts and everything like that. And then looking at the table, we do get a couple of different accessories over here. So it looks like it's Carl or Rick's hat right up there. We get, yeah, it's definitely Carl's because we get the silencer one right over there. We get a lantern, so this is pretty cool. Now to go over how the upper cell and the lower cell connect together, uh, I think the best way to do it is just stack them on top of each other, of course. You know, that's the obvious way that you can go about doing it. You could also plug them in this way over here, but you're going to have a little discrepancy with the height of these. Uh, they will match up and they will plug in, but the lower cell is going to be hovering in the air just a little bit like that. So you can do that if you want to, but it may look a little bit weird just to do that temporarily. You can see, yeah, it's kind of toppling over. So I don't necessarily recommend doing that unless you want to put something underneath here, but it's kind of neat that, you know, you can see the cell underneath and all that, you know, just looking into that looks pretty cool. Looks very realistic when you do that. I like that a lot. Um, so you can detach this and do something else with it if you like. Yeah, the little pieces are going to fly all over the place. Now here's looking at the prison cat walk and I think this is very very cool I'm digging this a lot I like these staircases and everything and it does come with two little figurines we do get a Herschel looking really good over here I like this Herschel a lot he even got his little set eyebrows and everything as he's doing all this killing but yeah very good looking Herschel figure Wow, I'm just always impressed how they nail the likeness down with these tiny little figures. And then this zombie is really cool. I really like this walker. It's like a crouch munching walker. Ah, oh, that's really cool. He's crouching and munching at the same time. I like the black suit and everything. That's cool. I always like thinking about like what the walkers were doing before they turned into walkers. You know what I mean? Like what kind of lives did they have? Like what did he like to read? What did he do for a living? <laughs> Nasty toilets. Okay, now looking at the inside of this one, not too different from the other prison cells that we already saw, except we do get this different little setup right over here. It looks like an IV, so that's pretty neat. And then the same red blanket and pillow and all that. And then the same thing with the bottom over here. Uh, we do get a little different piece right here for the canister. And you get Carl's silencer and his hat. Uh, now you can swap these out with other pieces. There are tiny little pieces that come with this that you can exchange for that table. This looks like Glenn's hat right over there with some newspapers, I think. You also have the option of adding this little gun with the book right here. You can add this little piece right over here. And then lastly, this knife right here. So we'd seen these on the other table. And then the doors for these function as well, so you can open and close them. So I like that, that's cool. The bottom one's a little bit more tough to open, but yeah, you can open and close these. Now looking at the stairs, I really, really dig this a lot. That is so cool. I really love the detail in these, and then you get all these little bloody parts. But you can set up to your liking. I tried putting most of them together over here, and I just think that looks really cool. I love seeing little touches of blood like that. That is awesome. The paint wash going throughout on this is really cool too. I like that. Uh, looking at the other side over here, these steps didn't have any blood on them, so there's only so many of them that have the blood. But I like that we get the steps on both sides. Here's looking at the back of the prison cells, so you can see how cool the wall looks. A lot of color variation in there. And looking on this back wall over here, you get the light post right there. Get some busted up rock and everything. Nicely detailed. Looking really cool. 
And I like this clear glass, the showers glass. Now, this always reminded me of the showers, you know, that weird glass right there. So I think that's really cool. I like that a lot. And coming up right up top on this side, you get some more cool stuff. Nice detail. Always love the attention to detail on these. Even on the floor right over there. And then you get this added great. This is a pallet. Yeah, I used to work at a warehouse. So yeah, I'm familiar with these. Yeah, forklift goes right through there and lift them right up on the pallet. So yeah, really nice looking pallet. Now the stairs lead up to this little section right here up the top of the catwalk, which I think is really cool. You could actually take this apart for display options, which I like a lot. So you could remove this if you want to. And you can have some holes right there. It looks like you can see some of the rebar. It can be a little tricky removing some of them, but I think that's really cool you get that display option. And I think this part is really cool too. Uh, I like how you can see the air conditioning moving and all that stuff right up there, but you can switch out the warning sign or you could have it say danger right over there so I think that's neat you can clip either of those together and you get this sliding door it's on this little track piece and I think that's awesome so for the obvious display option of stacking these pieces on top of each other we can do that so there's the lower and upper uh, prison cells and then there we go having them all stacked on top of each other which is really cool I think that's pretty awesome that you can do that. The only thing is that this stands taller than the prison tower. So just measuring it up to this top piece right over here that comes with the catwalk, you're looking just under seven and a half inches. Measuring all the way to the top over there, you're looking at closer to about 14 and a half inches. See, and then putting the prison tower next to this, uh, it doesn't really work into scale, right? I feel like the prison tower should be taller than the prison cells. So I'm thinking, I guess the best way to expand is to actually move more horizontally and around the catwalk than to just keep going up. Now separating these two, you can get some other display options like putting one on top right here. I tried messing with this, adding another piece right here, but it doesn't really balance out right and it doesn't say that you're supposed to do that. So uh, I think the next thing is putting them together like so. So we have the lower piece right here and then you can connect that together like this or you could actually stack these back together and then just put them against the catwalk. So let's do that and go ahead and smoosh that. And then we can get this all lined up right here. It actually looks like one of these pieces came out from the back piece when I had connected those earlier. So let's get that all connected. Come on now. Come on now. Okay, so now there's the upper cell and the lower cell attached to the catwalk over here, which does look really cool. Unfortunately, I did have a problem getting these connected, mostly because this just looks a little uneven right here. Uh, I have to zoom in, but you can see there's just a little bit of misalignment right there. I don't know if I'd made a mistake while building it. I followed the directions pretty closely. So that's the only thing, but from far away, it looks really good. So it's just a little trouble in getting that piece together. What worked best for me was actually just attaching the lower section and then bending it back and then attaching the upper cell and then connecting those together. So that's how that worked for me and I think it actually looks pretty cool. Now I think this is a pretty cool building set. I wanna crowd this thing with walkers at some point, you know, just seeing this flooded with walkers or you could put all the characters you want in here. If you wanna get a ton of these, you can make yourself a really cool prison and I really love that you get display options. Uh, pick things apart could be tricky sometimes. I recommend getting a butter knife and this actually really helped a lot in prying some pieces apart when I made some mistakes while putting it together. But I think it's really good looking, a lot of nice add-ons and everything. I hope you guys liked my review. If you did, please hit the like button. Click any of these boxes right over here if you want more shark in your face. Check out my Patreon account if you're 18 years of age or older. Also follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram and go to toynewseye.com for a photo gallery of images from this review. I'll catch you guys later. Peace. Yeah, don't want any walkers.